And along with that, not only do we design everything, we own all the tooling that makes the speakers. Mm -hmm. So, what, what is tooling, real quick? Tooling are all the machines and all the things that you know. Like you think tools, you think you know, mm -hmm. hammer, screwdriver, wrench. That you know, you you manipulate things. Well, mm -hmm. tooling is going to be what they make all the parts of the speakers with. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've got here. I've got a coax, a, a KSC 654 or 674. I can't remember which one. Um, basically have the components of that speaker here in front of me. And it's kind of fascinating to see, in fact, I was kind of having fun unboxing all this stuff this morning when <laughs> I came in, but, uh, you know, where it all starts. So why don't we just kind of get started with the basket? I mean, that speaker has to have a basket. Now, this is actually not the first step. This is actually the second step in making a basket. It's just a steel disc. So originally starts out as a big flat sheet of steel. So the first thing we do is we make a tool that stamps it out into a disc. So that's one step, that's one tool. One tool. Some of these tools can be thirty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars per per tool. So that's why we're never going to be the cheapest company out there because we build everything and own it all in house. That way we can control the quality. So there's step one. Step two, give it a little bit of shape. So that's the start of the basket. I got my target here, my little thing here that we get to see. So this is the start of a speaker basket. And I'm not sure exactly what the two holes in the center are for. They're going to go away here in a little bit. But so we start here and stamp it into that. Well, that's another tool, another process. Well, then we're going to stamp some holes into it and some windows into the basket. And some mounting holes. So we've, we've made a big step from this to this. So there's a whole nother step, a whole nother tool required to do that. From there, we're gonna take that basket and we're gonna, probably hard to see, but actually another tool that rolls the edges over. Mm -hmm. And just like if you take a piece of paper, by rolling the edges, it makes it much more you know, stiff mm -hmm. and rigid. Same thing happens with baskets. We actually roll those edges and we kind of flare those windows to give this basket a little bit more rigidity. Mm -hmm. So once again, a whole nother tool to do that. Go to the next step, and if you notice I, that one didn't have the big hole in the center, so now we punched out the hole for the magnet and the voice coil. So from there, it's gonna get powder coated. So quite a few steps in just making that basket. So I mean, there's, this is probably isn't all the tools, like I said, there's, a, so there's what, six steps there, six different high-end tools and, and hydraulic wow. presses required to do that. And I'm gonna like I can take that. First. I'm gonna take yeah. those to you, and you can take them away. Do that. So let's go to the grill. So we got the, the basket made. We need to make a grill. Once again, starts off at just a piece of sheet metal. Sharp. Yep. Careful. Then it gets perforated and stamped into shape. You notice it's got the little tabs already cut out, and those tabs are what actually lock it into the basket, which or into the. You know, the part of the grill, which is actually kind of cool the way that's done. So these little tabs get bent over and they insert into slots in the, uh, the trim ring for the grill. So there's another step. So it's just basic sheet metal, perforated. I'd like to see who drills all those holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty talented. I think it's a machine. Yeah, it probably is. is. So then that grill is stamped, stamped into shape. So I can tell you this is the coax because that is kind of dished out. If that was a component, it actually have almost raised to it for clearance for the tweeter. So with the coax, the tweeter's flush with the mounting surface, but in the component when it's coaxially mounted, that tweeter actually sticks up a little bit. So that's how you can tell the difference in the grills. I never noticed that. But yep, it's a oh. big key because this will not fit on the component. Sure. Uh, I know that because I had to find some drills for a component because <laughs> those didn't work that had laying around. So you've got the little... Uh, Divot basically for the name badge. This is all stamped into shape. It's rolled. You notice those little tabs are still there. So that would be the next step in making the speaker grill. And then, of course, it gets powder painted. coated as well. Yeah. Powder coated, yeah, not painted. Yep. So now we've got almost the finished grill. That's that's pretty close to the grill. But what's going to finish it off is the next process is we're going to make the badge. And once again, that badge takes several processes. You've got to you basically have the tool to mold it. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to silk screen it. And it also has a uh, little tabs on the back that actually secure it to the grill. 